The next thing I want to talk about is creating and formatting content. So the first thing I want to talk about is images and then I'm going to talk about videos. So I'm going to start with images. When working in Photoshop, ensure your images will load fast by using GIF, JPEGs, or PNGs. GIFs will make images small in size but with the sacrifice of quality. So you kind of have to pay really close attention to the settings within Photoshop and I'll show you that here in just a minute. The second one is JPEGs. JPEGs give a little bit more flexibility with quantity versus quality. And then the third one is PNGs. PNGs are generally used to create images with transparent information. The next one is videos. And there are several video formats that you see on the web, and I've only listed three here because the list kind of gets really, really long. The first one is an MOV. If you choose MOV, you will hope your audience has QuickTime or a player capable of viewing QuickTime files because MOV is, you know, something that was made on the Mac, basically. The same is true for .wmv files. And, of course, .wmv files is the Windows Media Player file. So you're going to kind of hope that if you're going to only have WMV files, that your end user is running Windows. And that, of course, may not always be the case. And then the last format I show you here is the MP4 format. And that's kind of like my favorite format, the format that I usually like to use. Because that one will play in both Windows and Mac. And it's pretty compressed. You do kind of lose a little bit of quality, but there's still enough there where it's still viewable and you can still see what's going on. I do want to mention, because of limited space on most web servers, you may find that you have to find a content hoster to host your images and videos. For example, you may have to use a place like www.deviantart.com for your images. And then you may find that YouTube is going to be the best place for your videos. And then on your website, you would just link to this information. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open Photoshop. As I said earlier, I want to show you these places that you can go to to kind of control the quantity versus quality of your images. So it doesn't matter which version of Photoshop that you open. If a very large file, of course, you'll need 64-bit. But if you're using a very large file, chances are it's not going to work on your website. You'll have to do a lot of editing. I'm just going to use um, the 64-bit version. And then I'm going to locate an image somewhere on my hard drive for the purposes of this demo. We will find a render that I've been working on here somewhere. I'm going to use a JPEG for now. I'll choose that one. So let's just say that this is the image that we want to use. So one of the things that we want to do, of course, is go up here where it says image, and we're going to want to make all the adjustments that we need to make to it. And then finally go to image size. And this is where we can crank down the size so that the file is not so large. Right now we see pixel dimensions is 7.91. All right, so I'm going to go up here, and let's just say we're completely done formatting the image. It's the exact size that we want it to be on our website. We go up here to file. And we see here something called Save for Web. So if I click Save for Web, we have this window here that opens. And we can see already that there are lots of things that we can do to this to make it work for our website. So I'm going to go up here where it says Preset. Right now it says I'm name. I'm going to leave it as that. And my first setting here is GIF. To control the quantity versus quality of our GIF, we would actually use these settings right in here and kind of pay attention to what happens over here. This kind of gives us the information that we need after we tweak our settings. So we can see here right now at 2560 by 1080, it's going to take about 321 seconds for this image to load. And of course, you know, our website's going to have more than just a single image. There's going to be other information on our website. So on a 56K modem, our user's going to have to wait 321 seconds. Let's just hit this drop down. And let's just say that maybe our user is on something just a little bit faster than a 56K modem. And this looks like pretty much, let's see, what do we got here? 
I want to pick this lowest cable setting. This is what a lot of home users will have is this 256 kilobits per second on cable or DSL. It's still going to take about a minute and a little bit more than a minute for this image to load. It says 72 seconds. So obviously we know here that we're going to have to kind of decrease the quality of this image by playing with these settings over here to make this load a little bit faster. So let me go ahead and switch this over to JPEG and that was our original file format and take a look of what we get here. And with our JPEG format we again want to pay attention to these settings here but up here where it says quality we can start to play with some of those settings. We can also play with these settings here too but we, all, we have that additional setting up here at the top this quality setting which will help help it to load a little bit longer and right now at 256 kilobytes it says it's going to take 16 seconds for a JPEG to load so that's a lot faster still our user has to wait 16 seconds we may have other images on our site it's going to take too long so let me see if I can decrease this quality what happens to our image here we can kind of see in this preview that it gets a little bit pixelated because we decreased the quality. So let's go back to where we were at. We were at 60, I believe. If I switch it to 60, it gets a little bit better. Not as pixelated. We can see a lot of detail in here. So it's a lot of just kind of going in here, tweaking this value here, this quality value, and this image size value. So now let's take a look at another setting. Let's take a look at our PNG up here and we saw from the drop down that there's two versions of PNGs and I'm going to choose my 24 so that way we can have a little bit more resolution with the transparency a lot more values to play with basically and here we have kind of the same two settings down here at the bottom um, I'm going to erase this right here this doesn't do anything for us anymore But we have an additional area, which is this one right here, that we can play with. It doesn't really help the file load a little bit faster. We just have the ability to add transparency and make it interlaced. So we have a little Alt tab here that pops up when I roll my mouse over interlaced. This is download in multiple passes, which means this could take a significantly longer amount of time for this image to load on your web page. We can see here already the way that it is at 24 PNG-24 it's going to take 110 seconds on 256 kilobits per second. So that's that's a pretty long time. So you can imagine if your website takes a long time to load, you know your end user is going to be like, "Uh-oh, my browser has crashed. They'll close out of it." or they'll think your website is not working or they'll simply say I don't have time to wait for this I'm just gonna move on to something else 